The 5-0 Atlanta Falcons have been one of the most impressive teams, if not the most impressive team, in the NFL all season long. And a big reason for that, their offense. And Eric, we're going to break this down in our game time decision. A lot of reasons the offense is moving the ball, whether it's Matt Ryan, their wide receivers, Tony Gonzalez, or is it Dirk Cutter? Who do you think is the best offensive weapon for the Atlanta Falcons? I think if you polled everybody uh, who watches the Falcons, they'd say, okay, Matt Ryan is the general, he's the quarterback, he's the MVP. You talk to a guy like Nolan Rocky, our, our scouting insider, he would say that bringing Dirk Cutter aboard has been a huge difference, just in terms of changing things up, getting out of tendencies, presenting new looks offensively. But for me, the X factor, he may not be the most explosive guy, but he allows everybody to play at their maximum ability. It's Tony Gonzalez. He's right in the middle of things. He can block, he can catch passes. And when you're focusing on somebody else, guess what? He's going to burn you. He did it to the Redskins several times on Sunday. So in that regard, in terms of his own performance, still so high after all these years, and also in terms of opening up everything else for everybody, I think he's the most explosive player on that team. You know, I think I was personally stunned when I looked at some of their stats and saw he had the most receptions on the That's team. Right. I mean, you look at the wide receivers they have in Roddy White and Julio Jones, and you consider that this is Tony Gonzalez's last season. That's right. I mean, he's been playing for at least 40 years, give or take <laughs> a couple, and he's been at the t peak of his game. He hasn't missed a game, and he's been so good for them. And you're right, he's been the guy that is always there when Matt Ryan needs him. But I want to ask you about those receivers, because there's always that question in the NFL, is it the quarterback that makes receivers, the right. receivers that make the quarterback? When you hear best weapon for the Falcons, you know, my first thing was Julio Jones. I mean, you look at the athlete, he's so explosive for them. He hasn't, you know, early on he was good, but you still look at the numbers. He's third in terms of receiving. Uh, but how do you categorize those receivers when it comes to the idea of the best weapon on this team? Well, the beautiful thing is that they complement each other very well. Different style guys. I mean, White can get deep. Now, on the negative side, he's also dropped some pass over the years. Inconsistency's always been one of those things. He'll disappear for three quarters. You know, somebody who can have a big game one week and then not there the next. Jones always going to be the injury factor. He plays so hard, so physical. He runs through tackles that he's going to be a hamstring and groin guy for the rest of his career. He's always going to be playing banged up. So different styles for sure. Of the two with a little more explosion, I'd go Julio in that. And look at that run game too. Now they've got Jack Quiz, they've got Michael running the football well. Offensive lines played its, uh, done its job. Well, that was the other thing I was going to ask you about. When you talk Atlanta Falcons, if this was three, four, five years ago, you talk best weapon, yeah. it's Turner the Burner. Absolutely. I mean, you talk about the way that they ground and pounded and, and beat teams with a Michael Turner. And now, obviously, he's near the end of his career. They have Rodgers, they have Jason Snelling. You know, they're trying to continue to make that running game a balance. And boy, are they going to be a tough out at any point in this season if that running game is as good as we've seen from earlier in Turner's career. You know, and, and I'll use them as an example of what the Eagles and the Packers are maybe not doing and that's just running the football and if you get three and a half yards that accomplishes a lot of things. Number one, it sucks in those safeties, brings them in, opens up the passing game down the road, makes you less predictable, you know, makes you more flexible offensively. So even if you're not gaining four or five yards a clip and the Falcons aren't the most effective running team, it does a lot of other things for you, just like my Gonzalez theory there. And then you look at the New England Patriots as well. Another, Same thing. Another you know, pass-first team for years, and now Josh McDaniels in there, Stephen Ridley, suddenly they're running the ball down team's throats, and then Tom Brady picking them apart at will. But the Atlanta Falcons really running all eight cylinders right now. The best team in the NFC for sure, maybe the best team in the entire NFL. Who do you think is their best weapon on offense? Let us know in our comments on our YouTube page and head to our website at ProFootballWeekly.com.